Hi there, this is Kyler from Kyler Studio. Uh, forgive the background, we're currently working on the studio right now, building sound panels. If you want to learn more about how we did that, just uh, stay tuned, subscribe, and you'll figure out how to do that later. Today, I want to share with you how to use Snap in a program called Better Touch Tool. If you want to put your windows on your MacBook in certain sections of your screen without having to adjust them, very cool stuff. All right, let's get right to it. So here's my screen. Forgive the uh, proportions here. My screen is unusually large. I'm going to show you how the snapping feature works. If I hold down a button, uh, in this case it is Command, or since I'm using a PC keyboard, it's actually Alt. But I hold it and it, it, it brings up this, these sections to where I can snap windows to a particular view that I've already pre-programmed. If I hold Alt, I can go in thirds, or excuse me, if I hold Option, I can go into thirds. So then I can, you know, arrange my windows however I want. I can have a lot of little windows or a big window or any combination in between. The flickering is due to uh, the recording software that isn't 100% perfect. I'll give you that. Okay, I zoomed in here a little bit to show you how this thing works. If you go up to the top right, click this icon with a hand over a trackpad, come down to Snap Areas, and you can edit Snap Areas. Or if you select a window, you can create a Snap Area. So let's say I want this thing to go uh, like this only, I don't know, a third of the right half of the screen. I have that window selected snap areas and create a new snap area when i do that i verify that's the window select it and it presents me with a new box so this box if i press the gear i can decide i want that box to show up when i touch nothing when i'm dragging any windows i find that a little bit annoying i can do uh, option or command control function or shift or your options or any combination therein I've been using Option and Command for Mind and a combination of the two together. The X is where the position is left and right, Y is up and down, the width and the height of the window once it snaps. You can also specify for individual applications. If you want certain applications to snap in certain areas, you can specify that. Uh, you can select a different color if you'd like. Uh, I usually stay with all the same color, but those are options. And all right, let's just mix it up a little bit. Okay, this one, whatever you want to call it. And you can format it. I usually just have come down and centered it, you know, somewhat like that. And you can reshape it. Uh, it tends to work that if you shape it the size of the window that you want, but also not being in the way of the other windows. There you go, and then it's done. Command W to get out of that. If you want to edit them, go back up to Snap Areas, Edit Snap Areas. You can see the new one we created right there, and it shows you the border of where it has been created. And of course, you can edit everything afterwards. If you're done with it, just press Delete, and goodbye, it's gone. Now. It looks like this. When I have, when I press my Windows key, which is my Alt key, I come up with thirds and sixths. And if I hold my Command key, I have fourths and eighths and three quarters if I want a huge. You can additionally add keyboard shortcuts to make these snap areas work. So for instance, if I wanted a certain area, um, you cannot see this on my Stream Deck, but I can set up my Stream Deck to have window snap areas. So if I press that, it will move different areas just with buttons. So that's also a great feature. You add that to, uh, that'll be a different tutorial. Anyway, that's it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Thumbs up if you liked it. Double thumbs down if you didn't like it. Stay tuned for more studio action coming up, and we'll see you next time.